This is Bonneville. Where Hello. are we? On Chow Bella. We're on Chow Bella. I've got my decorating shorts on. <laughs> <laughs> now then, Mr. Bonneville, your job throughout this podcast is to keep your eye on those two little blue lights. Can you see them? Two little blue lights? On the thing that's plugged into the iPhone. Oh, right, yes, yeah, sorry. <laughs> Looking over there. For those that are new around here, this is Mrs. Bonneville. She's Hello. not quite right. I'm Mr. B, and I'm definitely not quite right. Uh, <laughs> welcome to our monthly podcast where we go over this every month. We answer your questions that you very kindly sent in mm -hmm. to this email address here. We do two things, well, we do a few things actually. Sometimes I need to moderate some of the language. They're a bit ranty this month. <gasps> um, and sometimes I just have to politely respond back. We don't do religion and politics, we don't do that. And then thirdly, Mrs. Bonneville likes not to know what the questions are so she can react. And sometimes that does explain her reaction to some of them. Oh. There you go. Um, right, so shall we get into it? Well, by the way, we like to do about a dozen or so questions um, with our um, monthly podcast. Mrs. B, are you ready? Ready. Let's uh, crack on. Oh, and down there off screen is our lovely golden retriever. We're just coming from a walk, so he's a bit uh, Yeah, he's sleepy. a bit tired. Right, so let's crack on with our questions, shall we? Mm -hmm. um, and as I say, I just read them. All I'm doing here is just reading them straight from the emails that have been sent in. So our first one is from Penny and Steve Williamson from Solcombe in Devon. Oh! We we recently were down oh. in Devon for our, was that our second or third little uh, naughty week? I can't remember. A naughty weekend. Naughty we <laughs> well, I wish. Um, no, oh, no. We, uh, yeah, we, we stayed not far from Solcombe Place called Kingsbridge. So uh, we know Solcombe very well. Yeah, and is, right. it, is it the Victorian, Victoria pub or something? That, oh, I love it. I love it. Anyway, in the, quayside, in the quayside, it's beautiful. So yes. Penny and Steve. <laughs> oh, God, here we go. And I'm, I'm reading it out exactly as has been sent in. Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Bonneville warning, little bit of a rant coming. Oh, we're used to that. Mr. Mr. Bonneville, B. you'll be used to it. Yeah, I'm used to it. You <laughs> rant all the time. For those that are new around it, I do case have a little bit of a rant about life in general. Mm. Right, let me just read it out first because it's fairly lengthy. Um, you will love it down here when that day comes, and great idea to stay away from the lodges, in our opinion. Uh, there are many parks down here in Devon um, where lodge owners, unfortunately, have become a victim to very difficult um, situations and positions, mainly down to the park owners deciding to suddenly sell up and offer lodges or the lodge park to holidaymakers. I'm sure you can imagine chaos if you're a residential lodge owner. Lots of parks on so-called residential licenses that owners have, have simply walked away from. Uh, total disaster. We really do feel for some of them. We have family members in some of these lodges. Yeah. Um, we, we've, we've seen a few down there, haven't we? Yeah, let in me read it out park. first because okay. there's a lot. Right. Steve says the whole park home industry, sorry, Steve says the whole park, park home industry needs much tighter regulation as folk continue to look for a cheaper way of life. Absolutely. Mm. Um, maybe on the more expensive sites, you tend to get what you pay for, he says. Um, Steve is a retired structural surveyor by the way and I can mm. still hear him saying no wonder you can't get a mortgage on them they are sat on breeze blocks and do require an awful lot of maintenance in terms of how they are constructive, constructive uh, and the materials used so Mrs B my wife wants to know how you um, also get away with wearing such lovely jewellery living on a boat does it not get tarnished I think that means dull yeah. um, Anyway, she is always commenting on how wonderful your jewellery looks. P.S. We really do love the channel. Sorry about the rant, but we do have friends and family in an awful situation in some of the lodge park, in some of these lodge parks. Penny, oh. Steve, there's a lot going on there. Yeah. Um, Mrs. B, jewellery. Um, do you know a lot of the jewellery that I've got? Mr. B bought me from a, a Pandora and some other places. And the last. That's why I'm great. I've got no air. Yeah, that's why he has to work like he does. Um, and the last thing he bought was a lovely turnit ring that unfortunately I can't wear it on my wedding ring at the moment because my fingers are a bit swollen but while I was there I bought some really nice cleaner and um, so I don't use it often 
but when I'm in the shower, oh, I yeah. use my nail yeah. brush and just, you know, the, the shower gel and stuff, and just give them a little buff with the shower, with the nail brush. But every now and again, I just get the cleaner out and I give them all a bit of a clean. So that's how I keep it clean. But now I keep it in a little jewellery box in the drawer and it's absolutely fine because it doesn't get near the water or anything. There's no dampness that gets near it. So so that's probably, I think that's what you mean because anything that's in yeah. water for a long time. Penny's just put tarnish. So. Yeah, but no, that's it. But thank well, you for that. I um, appreciate um, that. By the way, thanks for recognising my lovely jewellery, Penny. <laughs> um, Steve, I know it's a rant. Um, yeah, you know, we've looked, we've yeah, looked at old yeah, uh, Lodge yeah. Park, we looked at, I think we may have mentioned a, yeah. a vlog or a podcast back, um, we went down to um, the Cotswolds and looked at some for £400,000 and we took the view, you, you know, for that amount of money you may as well buy like a house. Uh, but um, but we, were, we were just, Mr B, as you know Mr B, he, yeah. he goes from we're going to go here, we're going to go there, he still hasn't completely got his head round. Oh we have. Well, we, we know we're staying we're here to till I retire. Yeah, but I mean after uh, retirement. After retirement, uh, it's all don't know. Yeah. So, um, so we just thought we just tread the water, go and have a look at some parks, and there's some nice ones in Salcombe and around Salcombe and yeah, and lovely bridge where we go. Yeah, very South nice. South Devon, some lovely ones. Some on a hill with a lovely view. Yeah, and, yeah, we looked. And the, there's some not far from here where we're yeah. we are in in Derbyshire. Um, so it was just an option we looked at, didn't we? We just had a look and yeah. And this is when we were debating: do we do we want a garden for Kenneth, and yeah. should we move off yeah. here? What do we do, and where do we go? And I think one thing we have decided though is we won't. I say it's just our opinion; we're not looking to offend anyone. No. Really not. It's you have to live your life how you want to live yeah. your life. We've decided we're not going to go for a lodge. I would have gone for a lodge down in the Cotswolds because they were stunning, mm. but again. Paying money. three, four hundred thousand. Yeah, you may as well just go and buy a little retirement bungalow. Uh, yeah. In my opinion. Yeah. Um. So I see your point. I didn't know. I generally, I'm not, I'm not a structural mm. engineer. I don't know about your other comments. Um, yeah. I'm not suggesting that they're not correct. Uh, yeah. Obviously, you're a structural engineer. You know what you're talking about. Um. I just think it's really sad that I have looked at a few things. Um, since you kind of email and yeah there does seem to be a little bit of a it's that residential thing you'd yeah I would feel comfortable on it no what we've got here is residential this is our home and this is like bricks and mortar but on the water yeah. so all our post is here we've got a registered address yeah um, you know the doctors the dentists everything we want to do this is like having a, a land I, address sorry to interrupt I, I'd be horrified I, I you know I'm rereading your point you know to buy to buy any type of property you know to find when I say any type of property, so boats are the same, lodge homes are the same, lodges are the same, you know, and to find, you know, the owners suddenly deciding to walk away from the commitment of, I would find that horrifying. Yeah, yeah. Genuinely horrifying. So, yeah. you know, and the other thing, yeah, I didn't, I actually didn't know you they, you couldn't get a mortgage no, on them. No, I, I didn't, didn't. I didn't know that. So I wasn't checking up on you, Steve. No. I did Google that. Yeah. And now I understand why you can't get mortgages on them because of how they're constructed. Da, 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 da. Mm. And I also didn't know how much maintenance was required on them. So thank you for pointing that out. But I will say, just to level things, you know, maintenance is required on anything. Oh, yeah. You know, our boat requires ma any Anything requires maintenance. But thank you for pointing that yeah, out um, yeah. you know there are lots of interesting points there yeah sorry we're a little bit we just don't know I'm not a structural engineer and and I, now we've made our mind up yeah. we're glad and if we had made glad. our mind up that might have made that, mind that up. definitely would have made, <laughs> made my mind, mind up. up yeah um, but thank you and, and thanks, yeah, thanks for the question for in terms of yeah Mrs. yeah Dee's thank jewelry. you yeah um, nice, I say nice I, to I, know. I, I might get mine from <laughs> <laughs> right moving on Pat Cummins from Lancashire Lancashire has put hello you pair I uh, absolutely adore you two. Oh, um, thank you. If I'm being honest, more Mrs. B than Mr. Oh, thank you. Pat, have a great Christmas. Have a <laughs> lovely life. Let's move on to the next question. <laughs> um, I was recently at Mercy and Marina oh. um, viewing some wide beams. Absolutely amazing boat. <laughs> Capitals. But how confusing it is in terms of the different prices that are being asked for them. Um, I have a friend who bought a wide beam off Apollo Duck. Other brokerages are available. Mm. Um, same, very same spec as one of the new and popular Collingwoods that New and Used had on brokerage, but it was twenty-five thousand pound less than the same boat. How can this be? Um, what is the uh, what is going on with wide beam boat prices at the moment? You two, the only ones that seem to move quickly are still the Aqualines. Um, I would agree with that. 
Um, narrowboats still seem to be selling now. Mm. Would you agree? Yes. Is this is this because mooring prices are so expensive for wide beams there? I think you pair are sitting on a nice little profit, aren't you? Nice one, Mr. B. I'll come on to that. <sighs> wow. Um, we were talking about this the other day, we were, weren't we? Yeah, yeah. And my my thoughts on this. This is just completely my idea of of why narrowboats are selling faster than wide beams at the moment. Yeah. I think in summertime, and we do it. We it, the idea of sailing down the Trent and Mersey or any canal in the sunshine, a cup of coffee in your hand, you know, the ducks quacking, it's just brilliant. You've more chance of doing that around here on a narrow boat than you have on a wide beam. If you go down south in some of the other canals, you can you can get your wide beam a lot more other places. But I think it's because people are, you know, imagine that wonderful thing about taking your boat out and being out on your boat. And we do it sometimes, don't we? We go, oh, we had a narrow boat. We could have took it out, couldn't we? But I mean, we float not, not Yeah, not I, boat. I, I do agree with a lot of that, but I also, T to your point Pat and I do genuinely agree with that um, I, I think a lot of folk perhaps think buying a Y beam and mooring it is a cheaper way of living it's not um, I've said many times you know go and go and have a look at Mercy Marina's website you'll know how much we pay a month yeah. all in you know with a mooring fees and our CRT license we are paying £950 a month um, that's a for me I think that's a fair chunk of change totally manageable I, I, that's not me flexing you know but for others and we know people who've recently left here because of the mooring fees it, it's got too expensive um, I, and you know my view and I'd rather see somebody leave the marina being open and honest about why they're leaving as opposed to leaving it and slagging it off um, so there's that consideration they're not cheap they are not cheap to sit in a puddle of water each month um, but I do agree with Mrs B um, in terms of right time to buy I think as well sorry I think as well you've got to buy um, I'm going to say state something so obvious I think you've got to buy wisely um, when we bought a narrow boat we sold it and made a profit we made 25% profit there you go uh, we bought this well under what they were asking and I mean well under um, even if the arse end falls out of the wide beam market, which it, I think it is at the moment, if we sold this tomorrow, um, we'd still make a very nice mm. profit. That's a fact. And that's the commercial side of me and my brain, how I work. The other thing I would say is, in terms of your comment, in terms of why the variance in price, you know, I can't share who, but we know someone who's recently bought a new wide beam for £25,000 below what it was asked for. Go on to um you know this brokerage on this marina and have a look at some of the brand new boats there's there's one collingwood that's been on there for over a year it's a 70 footer they've just knocked 25 grand off it it's now 169 there's another one that they've just knocked 20 grand off these are brand new boats um but you know my view um on this if you've watched us from the beginning which you did allude to never 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 ask, pay the asking price if the boat's in the water I don't care what anybody says drop me a note you can drop me whatever you want I will never change my mind it's in the water it's being built bid them just bid on it um, if you pay the ticket price I think you're a little bit loopy um, but I do agree with Mrs B I think it's the right time to buy it and I think come winter time yeah you know when you know when we're all snuggled up in our wide beam we've got the fire on and the sofa and everything that I think is when a wide beam looks really yeah yeah uh, and, and you know I feel for folk that are selling boats at the moment, I really do, this is not the time to, I don't think this is the time to sell your wide beam, I think you have to, either, you know, you need to take a bit of a hit on it, um, and folk are taking a hit on them, um, particularly the new ones, brand new and newish, um, or you've got to weather it, um, or as I say, you, you can financially take a hit, um, because right now is a really uncomfortable time to be selling a wide beam, I think. Well, we just um, keep an eye on things. Yeah, I'm always sale. looking. Yeah, I'm always, always looking. It's a good question. Yeah, that, it is a very good question. Pat. Thank you it, for it that. It really is. Um, the only thing I will say is, I inquired recently, you know, if you're going to order a new boat that's going to go on a wait list, a build list, you've got very little negotiation there because it's in build. And, and if I was Aqualine or Collingwood, I'd be gently telling you to go away and ball your face. That's the price. That's the list price but that's a new build boat if they're in the water bid them 
if it's already been built it's got a roof on it big dump because you would when you buy an house wouldn't you that's my view anyway pat i think that's a really really good shout mm. i really do yeah um and we've got ian miller from saint ives in lovely cornwall oh nice uh, ian to put that and by the way i do agree yeah um i hope you don't me ask i um, hope you don't mind me asking actually you do know about this one because i inadvertently talked to you about it I hope you don't mind me asking, but you have a small channel. Doesn't it make you feel like why you bother? Really, really not trying to offend. Um, just wanted to know how you feel about being a relatively small YouTube channel. Surely you can't be doing it for the money. Oh <laughs> yeah, you, this this was this was one that was on there. Um, yeah, it was um, on a comment. On a comment. Um, yeah, yeah. I can answer. I know Mrs. B. Well, we don't do it for the money. Uh, we've never asked for anything from anyone. We do it because it's a hobby we enjoy but it primarily when we get to our dotage we want to look back on this stuff and just sit in a rocking chair and grin being a relatively small channel again i, I can't stress this enough don't care um I re we don't do it for that reason um we really don't so it's lovely when people you know our, our friends over the pond and and, yeah. and people are kind and say nice things and everything a lot of youtubers say we really enjoy the comments darren reads the comments out to me and, but he doesn't read out if it's going to be a question that he's yeah, going, yeah. To, going to put in. But this, that one he did actually. Yeah. And also, how do I say this politely? You know, we've got seven and a half thousand subscribers, and you know, every time we ask for questions for these podcasts, we get inundated. Um, and and that's a lovely. Uh, yeah. It's we it's think true. that's really nice. Mm. Um, you know, as I say, we've never asked for a penny from from anyone, and we never will. We're not going to be that type of channel. We do it because yeah, it's nice yeah. that we think we love doing it and there's nothing it's wrong with hobby. anybody doing that is there no, nothing at all not. some so. people take the bats and sticks and club golfs all that stuff it's our hobby yeah so pat you've not offended no no you, no you really really not haven't at all um, no so so don't worry about no, asking that happy. question and i really enjoy the editing of it and yeah, we just enjoy doing it don't we yeah, so it's fun it's a bit and of fun. if we make some people happy and smile them fabulous yeah, fabulous absolutely um andrew and chris palmer from bedfordshire Ooh, nice. <laughs> all in bold the first three lines we totally understand if you don't feel like reading this one out oh dear i say we don't oh duck dear. anything if it's <sighs> religious or political we don't um oh, mr b uh, you're a bloody top bloke oh <laughs> love you because you just say what a lot of other folk are thinking of so much of the time mm. that's what we think yeah oh, that's very true so and this is more of a um if you don't mind andy and chris um more of a i think just think like a statement so our son who is the wrong side of 30 <laughs> still living at home <laughs> oh, a lot are nowadays <laughs> yeah. yeah brackets we do love him but come on <laughs> and he spends um well until um we used to find until we found one of your podcasts so much of his time just living his life on his computer and internet um and in this and in in our opinion the insanely stupid world that is social media oh, no. um and he does this all evenings and used to do it all weekends just endlessly sitting in his backside in his bedroom doing nothing so we have now set up some rules of engagement if he wants to continue living under our roof that is <laughs> god um for him to adhere to and all i can say to you two is wow 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 they are working even you mrs b the advice you gave when mr b had his rant many months ago about people living their lives through the computer it's working so we just wanted to say to you two lovely people thank you <laughs> and by the way mrs b you are still one of the prettiest people on the internet you're Aww, gorgeous well that's, that's very your nice. first strike fella thank, <laughs> thank you that's very <laughs> nice to see that's a lovely lovely thing mr b say. we think you're a national treasure <laughs> <laughs> don't 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 start that no mr um, ranty apparently i should be the, what this is exactly what they've put um, we think you should also be the ambassador for plain English speaking. You say it as you see it. Oh, can you imagine him being the ambassador? <laughs> Trust me, there's no one more plain speaking than this little Yorkshire lady here. And, and thank you for that lovely comment. But by the way, give that nice comment to your wife. Um, <laughs> but no, thank you. Andy, yeah, Chris, thank you. Look, it's just our opinion. Um, I, I, <laughs> I'm more for social media. I love social media. I'm, I'm on it, but I'm not on it a lot. I'm on it, you know, um, intermittently, aren't I? That's what it's all about. If I was Prime Minister, you know, I'd ban it. Um, anyway, <laughs> moving on. <laughs> but thank, thank you. Goodness thank you for letting us know your 30-year-old is now living his life. Yeah. Um, 
Pam Harrington from Crew in Cheshire. Oh, Cheshire. <laughs> Pam, thanks for your very succinct mail by like two lines. <laughs> not, not we like your channel. <laughs> what we like Mrs. Bonneville's jewellery or you know you're a national treasure Darren and we like, no. would you consider air conditioning brackets mini split system if so which one yes uh, um, <laughs> Pam uh, thank you seriously look I'm only yeah. joking thank you for your question yeah um, I'm going to assume that you love us <laughs> would we consider air conditioning yeah <gasps> do, you, do you know there was a boat yeah. uh, that used to be on here on our little pontoon that had uh, air conditioning didn't they yeah and although I mean Look at us! Look at our summer up to now. Oh, I mean, we've got beautiful yeah. sunshine now. It's windy, but we've hardly. I think we, in Tulka we've probably had about a week of sunshine, really, haven't we? Warm weather, hot weather. Unbroken, probably. Yes, it's yeah. about a week, ten days tops. But so, when yeah. it is hot, last year when we had that spate of thirty-nine degrees and stuff, if we'd have had air conditioning, it would have been. I, I, I well, funny enough, I did say to Mrs. B at the start of this summer. Too late now because we're halfway through it mm. I did say didn't I I would invest in an air conditioning unit yeah. if it got hot it hasn't got anywhere near no not, um, not but yeah you know Pam definitely we would yeah. consider we looked at a wide beam in Wellingtons have a look they, they've got a wide beam they did a, a vlog a couple of weeks ago on air conditioning that's right and it was a fantastic vlog oh how to do um, it with the how to do I won't spoil yeah, it yeah. go and have a look at wide beam and Wellingtons and they did only recently a month six weeks ago a really good we watched it and we thoroughly enjoyed it so it was like a makeshift air yeah, conditioning don't, don't, it? no don't, I won't just spoil it just go have a look it. at it and see yeah. so yes we would is the answer to that mm. and next time you write to us just expand it a little bit <laughs> a little bit of positive feedback <laughs> no joking no that'd be nice um, it? <laughs> David and Susan Powell from Lincolnshire Link's not far away yeah um, again I'm just reading it out as it I, I did have to just delete a couple of expletives, Dave. Oh dear. Um, I've, I've delete. I've replaced it with bloody hell, not something off. <laughs> um, <laughs> bloody hell, mooring, mooring prices aren't cheap, there are they? Yeah. Um, we were up there recently and we nearly fell over and went into the office and asked. It's a th we think it's a beautiful place to live, mm. utterly stunning, and you are so so lucky having such a well laid out boat like that. You've got everything you need. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, we we don't disagree with that no, sort of we, thing to we say, agree Dave. With you there, yeah. um, however, this is a car-related question, if I may. Of course, oh. you can. Um, how are you finding your discovery? And do you mind me asking which model you went for? Um, we think they are totally amazing cars. We had the Discovery Three, and our, we are consi seriously considering buying the Discovery Four, which is the one we think you've got. We do not like the Five. And we don't. But um, which one's the five? It's the one with the registration. Oh, know, that's oh, a bit but, funny, yeah. If yeah. you've got the new, I know mm. we looked at no, not for us. Um, but a good Discovery Four, um, one owner, low mileage is around about twenty-five to thirty grand plus. Would you agree? Yes. <laughs> um, they are truly amazing cars, though. Um, once you've sat in one and driven one for a while, you don't want anything else. Agreed. Um, final questions: Have you got any mods planned for it? And final extra question behind Sue's back, Mrs. B, blow us a kiss, please. That's your <laughs> first. <laughs> mwah. 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 You can have three. <laughs> Moving on to the next question. No, um, yes, it's the Discovery 4. The model we bought, we went for in the end, was the HSC Luxury. Um, we absolutely love it. <gasps> it's a one owner. Mm. I agree with everything you've said. A yeah. little bit of insider knowledge, I think I've mentioned on a previous vlog or podcast that my mother had a new Discovery 3 and the Discovery 4 um, she drove them into the ground maintained them well never ever ever let her down and I've had we've had that discussion about cars and reliability no car is ultimately 100% no. reliable we absolutely love it it took us down to Devon recently oh, and it was I so mean fully comfy. loaded yeah and it was just looking at going more it was fully loaded with it, Kenneth yeah stuff. it was just more Kenneth effortless stuff. it's a magic carpet yeah I've never driven a car with independent air suspension all round I don't <laughs> it's just beautiful we love it yeah um so yeah we do agree um any mods planned for it no not really I'm currently um, you know it is when you're looking at YouTube I've been watching a channel called fish 13 I think it's called where there's no commentary just a guy um, camping out in the wild with a defender um, I've also been drawn to um, these rooftop tents <laughs> um, just for a bit of fun oh, I'd love one of them because I don't think that does too much to the integrity of the car but other than that no I'm not going to put 
snorkels on and all that stuff um, but just leave it as it is but I would if I had some spare cash lying around I would consider getting a rooftop or some type of wrap around for it because that would be fun mm. but other than that no we absolutely love it yeah it's um, fabulous so thank you for your questions go yeah. get a discovery for you will not be disappointed yeah, it's, like, it's like being in that armchair yeah, it's lovely absolutely and you only really ask for one kiss so you've got two extra there should you ever contact us again dave there you go dave thank you right um nadine apologies Parizia, i think um from southern italy um, oh, I, oh I hope you're okay with the heat and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely. Um, yeah, I hope everything's okay. And the Dean has put, um, I'm coming over to the, uh, I'll put my teeth in, I'm coming over to the UK to relocate early next year full time. My plan at the moment is to rent a house and then buy our Y beam. <gasps> Mr. and Mrs. B, any advice you can offer on purchase prices? We've discussed a little bit earlier. Yeah. Really, truly, would be um, so appreciative for both myself and my wife. Also, what other boat bro um, brokerages are there out there? New and you seem to be the only one. Um, we also noticed a couple of new boats with a um, twenty to thirty pound reduction in price on their website. Why do you think this is? see the question above in terms of commentary mm. for there Nadine um, any thoughts would be greatly appreciated um, God, any advice we can offer well, well you, you, you get yeah. the best one you know if, uh, when Mr B always says if it's in the water if you think oh that's just out of our price range there is nothing wrong with making an offer there is nothing wrong no. all they can say to you is no exactly or come back with a counter yeah. offer so never be afraid absolutely never do anything stupid like offer 50 grand under or something like that because that yeah, would just I be think, embarrassing yeah, don't insult be yeah. sensible you know there was a few things that we needed to do to uh, to chow bella and a few things that we're going to have done next year aren't we yeah that that that, that gave us that leverage to 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 offer a little bit under so uh, any uh, the, the main advice we would give i think would be don't be put off by the price yeah an offer it can only justify your offer yeah exactly and that's you what know. mr b did he yeah. just said this needs doing we're yeah. gonna have to do that we're we gonna have had to do that. yeah we had it, whilst the brokerage could have come back and said oh well there's another you know two years left on the blacking mm. i went in quite hard in terms of it needs blacking uh, which all boats do every three or four years um they had a satellite dish on the front of the boat the paint's come away i'm dealing with that um there's a couple of issues not issues it just aesthetically with the wind that we get a no sort you know so i bid them um and some but we weren't disrespectful no but no, i justified it no. as mentioned above you know go and take a look right now there's a brand new collingwood boat on brokerage that started off nearly two hundred thousand pound is now under 170. it's not being lived on um so you know go and bid them that boat interestingly has been in the water so that's not me waving me willy it's just me gently saying yeah. bid them if it's in the water bid them um but as mrs b said be respectful yeah. and i will always say justify your bid yeah you know don't just if a boat's up for 160 don't offer 130 without justification your rationale for it um other than that oh yeah in terms of brokerage apollo duck mm. um and i purse a b and b boats rugby rugby, rugby boat sales um if you type into google on on, on the internet you know boat mm. brokerages uk and um, yes i'm sure new and news will probably in terms of how they're paying for the google analytics they'll probably be figuring first on the search mm. but you'll see and also a lot of marinas also have independent brokerages mm. on them yeah um, so have a look that way yeah. um but new news by far um are yes the biggest uh, biggest i suppose by footprint yeah but there's plenty of brokerages out there mm. for you to look at nadine yeah drop me an email if you're struggling and i'd be happy to kind of you know because it send may be list yeah something. be happy to send something yeah. over to you but good <gasps> oh, luck with it good luck yeah, yeah definitely. well done on your start you're very starting on that ladder yeah getting a boat oh um, can i just say by the way you know when and if we ever sell child bella it's no offers <laughs> should we put that on it no offers. no offers um don't bid me with justification i'll <laughs> drop you in the canal um, we won't. simon and linda uh, sorry lydia sorry simon and lydia thomas uh from the lovely isle of Wight. yes been there many times mm. um silly there's no such thing as a silly question no silly question but we would really like to know 
Um, is your water in your shower cold? Uh, <laughs> we've been really dying to ask this. We have friends with a wide beam down on the K&A. It's a lovely part of the world, although the canal could do a little bit of maintenance in our humble opinion, agreed. Um, they have a really nice boat, but every time we showered, the water was lukewarm. So is your shower water cold, Mrs B? Oh, do they want to have cold water, do you think? <laughs> could, yeah, no, well, we, shout. <laughs> well we, shout. we've had, um, obviously, if we have the emotion eater on, the, we can have a red hot shower. But there's something on our shower that makes it really there cold, is. isn't um, it? When I can only stand about 30 <laughs> seconds. <laughs> you can actually really turn it off. Um, when we bought the boat, um, I don't know how many, it was, it was a particular day where I like a cold shower. Anyway, I was in the shower and it is ice cold. And anyway, I thought, this isn't right. I mean, it's ice cold, yeah. isn't it? To the point where it bloody hurts you. It you can, hurt, of yeah. course, you know, get the temperature off. It's not a problem. Anyway, long story short, I was looking at the handover big aquiline brochure that um, folder that came with this boat. And it won't surprise anyone. The, the old owner specced this mm. boat out. Everything that Aqualine offered, they put on it. And they offered, I can't remember the technical name, apologies. There's something attached to the thermostat that allows the water to really get quite cold. And that's an understatement, isn't it? It um, hurts. <laughs> yeah, it's really, 30 you, seconds and I, I screamed yeah. and went, no, I'm gonna but, stick to my hot shower. But as I say, you can moderate it. You can turn the temperature up, but if you wanted a cold shower on this boat, trust me, you'll be in it for about five seconds. It's so freezing. Yes. So uh, the answer is to, to our boat and our shower, it's cold, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Can't comment, obviously, on you know, your friend's I, boat. Because when you think about it, we're, we're, a, we're a tin can, really, and if the sun gets on it, it's going to warm everything up that's in there, so your water is going to be quite warm, isn't it? Um, yeah. Unless you've got something on it. Or I'll just tell your friends to buy a better boat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, joking. I'm joking. Don't email me. <laughs> um, moving on swiftly. Paula Saxon um, from Kent. Again, um, two lines. Paula, come on, put some effort in. Um, I'm just going to read it out. Are you planning on doing a video on where you stay down in Devon? And also, how do you find such lovely dog friendly places? I do watch Mrs. B a lot on social media. Oh, well, uh, you obviously haven't been watching the last few weeks, have, have you? Uh... I must admit, this did come in before oh right before we actually yeah, went yeah, and we've just yeah. been saying we're yeah. going oh yeah so yeah. so yeah so we've, we've been doing a, a a few weeks of our vid, our vlogs so this this will come out this tomorrow won't it which is friday the time of filming this this is this will be out on 4th of august the 4th of august so so we're we're on the thursday now so the following week after this will be our final uh two days down in uh devon plus the tour of the uh of the signal box that we're in so that's not this friday but next friday and in terms of how do we find them, we the place that we've been to uh, twice already this year, we we found off Booking.com. Mm. We've become friends with the owner. We now book direct with him. Yeah. Um. Sorry, Booking.com. And then the last place, the signal box, which you'll see a video on. So yes, is the answer to your question. We found through Cottages.com. Um. And you know we're quite particular. Like most things, you put your filters on and some of ours are obviously dog friendly garden da, yeah. da, da. so that's how we found it and it is truly beautiful yeah lovely. so watch this space for the video on that yes baller. yes that's next um, week I'm, yeah uh, it'll be the tour in the last two days thank you um sid lawrence from devon you don't tell Ooh. us where um and sid's put have to applaud you both for being such amazing dog owners thank you oh thank you um you really can tell you love that beautiful golden tree the kenneth oh we do oh, totally our old heart um, i spent 30 years um on the road as an rspca inspector um and saw so many cases of owners who didn't know how to look after a dog uh, well done again for welcoming kenneth into your home you can clearly see on all of your videos how much he loves you both oh um, thank you oh that's uh, brought a tear to my eye in terms of um you know transparency I also spent a couple of years working for RSPCA as well, um, Sid, in the head office in Horsham. So, a wonderful, utterly wonderful organisation. Um, Sid, I do have a question. Um, how is Kenneth uh, when the boat is running? <laughs> oh, well. Hold on, hold on. I ask because my friend has a narrow boat and he really is struggling with their golden retriever. Um, they spend the weekends on the boat, but it's sorry they wanted to spend the weekends on the boat but it has got to the stage now where Baxter the golden retriever simply goes crazy when the boat engine is started 
Oh yeah, Sid. Um, I mean, we we don't we don't as you no. know we float. We don't boat anywhere. Yeah. But sometimes we do have to move the boat. We have to move the boat twice a year, yeah. uh, which we just moved sort of one or two up. And if we want anything doing with our engineers here on the marina, the, the one it has to be taken. It has to be taken. We don't take it. It has to be taken around to street day. Now. The last time it went into dry dock, um, Darren was at work and me and Kenneth were on the boat and the lovely guys from Street A, the engineers here, they came to, to steer it round for me and Kenneth was just beside himself. Oh, he hated it. He and hated also it. when we moved it. When so we when moved we moved it. it recently, our little boy Kenneth was so upset he was sick. Yeah. So when we do the move again in October, the plan is Mrs B, because she likes moving it, under supervision, I'll take Kenneth literally off the boat yeah. and I will walk him around the marina doesn't somewhere. doesn't like it at he, all. Honestly, I don't know. I think it's maybe a phase Golden Retrievers go through. Um, Our vet says he's an overthinker. Yeah. And, I, and I think reading between the lines, when you speak to other Golden Retriever owners, they're very, they, they like to keep things structured. Things shouldn't yeah. be different. Um, it, he likes his routine and I like a routine. I'm not spontaneous. So we have a lovely routine. But if that's, if we go off that routine or something happens, you put a bag where it shouldn't be a bag or, yeah. you know, one of the girls on here, she, she'd got a, a refuge sack on the back and he wouldn't go around it. She'd, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I forgot about Kenneth. So odd things he doesn't yeah. like. But I think as well, because we've got four bow thrusters on here, when you're pressing those, that makes a lot of noise and he the engine makes like a lot it. of noise. And yeah, he, he just, just doesn't does like it. it. And do you know what? We're lucky. We're not, we're not continuous cruisers. I'll, I say, I'll move them off the boat when yeah. we move it. Um, and you know what? If that happens once, twice a year, yeah, that's, that's all right. We can do that. But, but yeah, I like I like to steer it. My, yeah. Our neighbour Mark gives us a hand, and we, I nearly broke the. the back Moving on. When I moved it last time. <laughs> Moving on. If anyone from the marina management team's listening, yeah. thank you. Yeah. Um, Gail Gail Newbury from the Lake District. Oh, nice. Um, there. Gail's. Put, I very recently visited Mercia. Oh. Wow, it truly is a wonderful place to live. I know this because we hired a lodge. And it was simply wonderful. Ah. We saw you one day, Mrs. B, uh, walking Kenneth with. <laughs> we saw you, Mrs. B, one day walking Kenneth with a ball headed chap. It wasn't Mr. B. No, it wasn't. Um, oh, that's my lovely Because he has hair. <laughs> and from the videos we watch, uh, Mr. B is clearly a lot taller. Uh, anyway, it was lovely to see you both in the flesh. Just wanted to let you know that we think you live in a totally awesome place. Um, what, by the way, why do you have to move the boat twice a year um, and do you have to move it to some other place uh, on the marina? Uh, no, we just literally have to move it a couple of kind of along so we stay on what we call this pontoon mm. and I won't bore you but in essence it's a requirement in terms of local council um, legislation, blah blah blah, in terms of why we have to move it. The one thing I will say, if you don't mind me saying this, next time you're here Come out and say hello to her. Please do. And the other chap was Neil. Neil from Goldfinch, and he would love you to say hello as well. Couple of down. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Anybody that comes to visit the marina, yeah. please just say hello just because don't, grab yeah. me, shout at me, and yeah, you know yeah, I will come and have absolutely. a chat with you. If Ask, it were me, just walk past. Yeah, don't. If he's because he might have a run, he might be in a ranty mood. I'm always in a nice mood, so you can always grab me. I'm quite happy and social. Can I just say, in my defence, when I'm working off the boat, I, I, I'm paranoid. I love working on the boat, but I get paranoid if I have to go outside anywhere in the marina because because I'm working, sometimes folk tend to forget and I'm always in a rush and it's not me being rude um, and it really isn't, is it? Mm. it I, I, I hate it going out when I'm working on the boat because I, you know, you see, I'm, I'm on never a break in a rush. or a lunch hour. I'm never in a rush. Oh, she'll blather on So for you week. just, yeah, I'll sit and chat to you. So, uh, so yes. Yeah, next so time. Next time you're here, yeah. just shout. But don't Mrs. bring them back Boone. here because I'm working. <laughs> <laughs> right. If it's not on, you can pop back and have a coffee. I've done uh, that before. Moving on, um, Samantha Headridge from Inverness. Come to Scotland! Inverness. Exclamation mark. Oh. Um, seriously, come to Scotland! Exclamation mark. You'd love it. Um, plenty more space and plenty more walks for that lovely Kenneth. Oh, um, yeah. Have you ever seriously? Have you ever considered it? lifting the boat out and bringing it up here. Um, Sam, we haven't actually considered have we? No, but we do. Uh, Scotland, we love watching foxes afloat and they've gone from being a narrow boat and they've got a, uh, a, a, croft. a, a croft and 
Oh, they're doing all sorts of things with bees and, and things like that, and they're fabulous. And they've got such a, a, f a wonderful plot of land there, haven't they? Yeah. And, and it looks gorgeous. I, I know the Highlands. We, I've done the NC500 mm. a couple of times. Um, so, you know, I, oh God, there's no easy way of saying this, and I'm not criticising. I've always said you've got to get two in the nest minimum before you really start to see the different side of Scotland. God made it. God made it. And I do say... To Mrs. B a lot one day we'll I go would up there. Love to. I mean the last the last time we were up in Scotland was when we got married. When we went to Gretna yeah, Green. Yeah, yeah, we went, yeah. Didn't we? Yeah. And it's just beautiful. Yeah. I used to visit there for my work. Sometimes I'd go up there for, for work and stuff. And it's just the most yeah, beautiful yeah, place. The Highlands oh, particularly my it's, it's my favourite part of Scotland, the yeah. Highlands. I just love it. It's so. just beautiful. No is the answer to your question. We've never considered it. No, not um, not. Would we do it? No, because I don't like the Scots. Um <laughs> No, he's only joking there. I was no. like that. What? No, and not only that, but we've said before, my family yeah. are fifty miles yeah. away from where we are here, and and it's nice to be able to visit yeah. mom and dad and my sister yeah. and the kids and that once a week. We'd not be able to do that if we were the, miles away. The only, I'll be absolutely honest with you, and I think I think I speak for Mrs B. If the situation was different, it's not. Thank goodness. Thank goodness, it's not because it's important. Every Thursday, Mrs B. Yeah. It's family day. Yeah. Um, but if things were different. We go, I think, eventually pick this boat up and put it in Stratford on Avon. But mm. that, that's about the only place I think we'd ever move this yeah, boat. Yeah, because we love Stratford and yeah. that area, don't we? Other yeah. than that, where we are, yeah, yeah. we love yeah, it. Yeah, it's perfect for everything that we want. Plus, you've got too many midges up there. <laughs> oh, you know, that's lovely. true. You can't come back at me in that one. Oh, it's lovely. Don't go to Scotland in September. Wow. Or the Highlands. It's the walks. It's the walks that yeah. I'd love. That, absolutely. <clears throat> right, moving on. Heather O'Sullivan. Um, from Kilbride, oh, you jocks! Ah. <laughs> I'm joking. Bloody hell! <laughs> there is no way I would buy a new boat at nearly three hundred ninety-five thousand pounds <gasps> just to replace Chow Bella and wait three yeah. years for it. Yeah, yeah. I was quite wasn't surprised at the cost actually. I was more surprised at the weight. And the email that we, or the response that we got back was minimum weight of three years. That's crazy, isn't it? Um, anyway, mad. why don't you just keep the one you have? And if there's anything that does need um, doing, adding to it, then just maintain it. After all, it's only five years old. That's exactly what we're doing. Mm. Um, please don't tell me um, you're thinking of selling a five-year-old boat. It's not even broken in. I live in a 40-year-old barge. Wow. And it is still perfect. Yeah. Um, love what you guys, absolutely love what you guys do. But please, in black brackets, please think long and hard. Um, before changing such an amazing boat with that amazing spec we're not changing it trust me we're not changing it um, we look at other boats as you look at other houses look, and cars because we're talking about getting a newer yeah, one we? we thought about it and then I, if I'm being honest with you to your point Heather I look at what we've got I know and we no. keep doing that we keep because we did say no. maybe we'll get a newer boat a new no. boat next year and we keep looking at them and looking at them and looking and, at them and, yeah. and nothing no. gives us this space and one of the main reasons other than the space it's the spec you know we've got a five kilowatt Victron inverter we've got a generator down here that can power a village we've got lithium batteries so everything that you could want on this boat mm. from a spec you know we've got, the upgraded, we yeah, we've got the upgraded engine i know we don't use it but god forbid if we ever did specking this boat up like for like as i say it's 295 grand not going to do it because this is five years it's not even five years old actually no. um so yeah heather trust me we ain't selling the boat no we, we um, can't we can't see anything no, that's the same we can't absolutely right mm. absolutely you know and i do look at other new boats you know 160 170 and they're laid out lovely and i have to say it but when you dive under and look at the spec of the boat the engine the batteries the inverters the fires no the decks the back deck back deck we've got so, so much room on yeah, this back yeah. deck haven't we we're, we're, we're really happy where we are yeah. um so thank you for that yeah um she also put um bah, 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 bah. please don't please think long and hard about changing such an amazing boat with the amazing spec you have um, you both never know what the future holds uh, you have a boat fully loaded and ready to go anywhere you want it to go oh we know oh, that oh yeah thank, thank you. you that's a lovely thing thank to say thank you for Heather. that yeah it is yeah, yeah. It but is. if we do sell it I say no offers <laughs> <laughs> um, Ken uh, we've got two to go Ken and Sue Page uh, from the K&A oh. K&A 
Oh, I can it can't even. even. You tell yeah. I'm a floater. And um, please don't, please don't sell Chow Bella. We have lived on. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've I've lumped these two together, and we have lived on boats all our life. And we looked at your boat when it was for sale. Uh, Darren and Wendy, you have done such an amazing job bringing that boat back to uh, a really true, oh, truly new condition. It just needed you. a little bit of love. We know the history of the owners. Um, we looked at it through. We looked at it recently through the hedge because we were recently <laughs> up visiting Mercy. Oh, why don't you it see? Looked, yeah, again, shout! It looked utterly stunning, um, and you really have. You really are doing such a great job. Um, the roof um, looks as though it's ready for its final coat. Yeah. It really is a truly lovely boat, and the spec really is amazing. Go and price that up, what we have. Um, that's all we really wanted to say. Keep Aww. your boat, it's wonderful. Well, thank, soon, you. thank you. Thank you. We and are. You know, do you know, rather than looking through the edge, if, if you look through the shout. edge and we're here, just yeah. shout, Mrs. Yeah. B! If Mrs. B's here, yeah. if I'm here. Yeah. It'd be best to shout me rather than Mr. B. But yeah, if you shout and and you can come and have a look at her. Can, you you but, were out on the on the side buffing and stuff, weren't you, the other day? Yeah, and I've recently, uh, you know, maybe I should video it. When we bought the boat, God, nearly two years ago, you know, it's clearly been on a river or a canal and it's been scratched all the way down. And there were there were some nasty, you know, paint scratches. They have, compl I've basically uh, clayed it. Um, Maguire's other products are available but if you're going to do it get the best um, so I've clay barred it um, just to get all the contaminants out of it I've then done some Maguire's um, X as it's known on it uh, with drill and then I've compounded it on top it's come up oh. I'm gonna have to say it, it's like new it's like glass well it's I, like I, new. I videoed you so it'll yeah. be on a future video yeah. you'll so be the to plan see. is to do the back um, not as intense because the back doesn't need it and then the left hand side it just I just keep on top of it and obviously the roof the roof needs doing um painting but weather Ugh. moving on but can and sue thank you yeah thank you and if you're next up here again just shout. yeah seriously i do mean that yeah um final question dirk bulgari bulgaria i think from romania i do apologize Ooh, lovely country. um dirk's lovely. put help yeah beautiful country yeah good shout dirk's put help Apologies for my written English, not oh, a problem. You speak better English yeah. than we speak uh, I am Romanian. Currently, we don't speak Romanian. We don't, we don't speak um, any other language, do we? Yorkshire. Oh, yeah, um, Yorkshire. Currently, we are specking up our new boat, and we would absolutely love to know. Apologies, I know you only deal with one question. I have seven. <laughs> seven. <laughs> um, here goes. So, can you help with uh, Victron or Sterling Inverter? Victron. Uh, Please no comment. The only reason we've had both. So our narrow boat had Sterling, and maybe it's where it was located in the narrow boat. I'll, by that I mean our bed was right next to the bulkhead. Behind the bulkhead was our Sterling inverter. God Almighty, it hummed a low hum, annoying, annoying. Um, and I say Victron, I, I, I just think that they slightly edge it in terms of reliability and quality um, and I personally couldn't go back to a sterling inverter because they do hum don't care what anybody says they hum um, unless you're prepared to position it quite away from your bedroom maybe not even anywhere near your living quarters just put if you can put it somewhere where you're not sleeping close to it can you remember on yeah it, yeah it it, was they hum and, mm. and it is mind-blowingly annoying yeah i think it annoyed you more than me yeah yeah uh solar panels or not uh, again just our opinion our view depends if you're going to use your boat mm. we don't i've unplugged our boat from mains power once um about two months ago um this is mrs b i mentioned that she has a family down a thursday anyway i unplugged it all day um yeah it was a bit it was nice um i'll be honest i was quietly quietly underwhelmed with how much it did put into the batteries. Oh what, the solars? Yeah. Just, oh. Um, we've got four um, panels on here um, and as I say would I spec a boat up with solar panels if I wasn't moving off a marina? No, you don't need it. If I was cruising, different story mm. so yes. Um, so for me it, it's, if you're cruising yes, if you're not yeah. no. Um, wall mounted TV uh, or like the one you have what do you think? Uh, I like ours. I I don't think I. I don't know if it's on the wall 
would I be looking up all the time? The, I, I, I don't know. I would say when we first got Ciao Bella, the first thing I said was, yeah. I don't know if you remember when we've done the tour, so as you, as you look down our boat now, as I'm looking down, we've got what we call the picture wall, we've got lots of photographs on it, and I said that was crying out for a, a, a wall TV, mounted yeah. TV, a big flat screen TV, but we couldn't have the TV on there because the bathroom's behind it and the wires and blah, and so there's some yeah. complication. So we had to leave it there. So if it was my choice and I could, I would have it on that wall. I, I love watching it where it it's is and it's not yeah. a problem, but I think that wall would have been better there for me go. personally. Yeah, for me, like it where it is. Mm. Um, explore a stern like you have or standard. I do think I know the answer to this one already, but my fiance would like to know either way. Oh, this one. This turn. This one, every time. <laughs> we, we had, um, we, we've had, I don't know how many people we've had on here, but the, the other week we had my, my sister, my niece, all big girls like myself, and the two kids, and you, and, and three dogs, um, and we were fine on here. Uh, you know, it was lovely. We got enough room to be comfortable, all of us. Yeah. Sorry, I just had to do a very urgent work email. <laughs> <laughs> was urgent. Um, so yeah, explore stern all day long. Look at the size of this. We mm. yeah, no no, all day explore stern. And do you know do you know one of the reasons why? Well, lots of reasons why. But come the start of summer, whether it's thrown it down with rain, whether we've got the beautiful sunshine now, we haven't sat in there and watched the TV no. or spent an evening in there no. since summer For started. <laughs> so we sit up here yeah, yeah. This is every our single <laughs> night, yeah. and we have our dinner up here yeah, yeah, our, yeah. and drinks up here, and we haven't it's, sat in there. Yeah since you know yeah. and we won't sit in there until no. winter starts absolutely so so we want it to be big gotta in, be a big stone yeah. we've all got our uh, own space then haven't we shoreline fridge and separate freezer shoreline or a lesser known brand <laughs> shoreline shoreline and again yeah. we've been spoiled we've got a shoreline fridge and a shoreline separate freezer mm. they, they are the best 12 volts go yeah. for it yeah. do not settle for anything and don't care what anybody says to you that is my opinion and i'm sticking yeah. to it they are the best the, the they're the best for a reason. So just have a little Google of buying a slightly different brand or a lesser known brand. You, you will eventually have a problem with it. Um, alarm or CCTV system for the boat? Um, get a dog. Get, <laughs> get a dog and a big stick on the end of your... Uh, yeah. Nah, look. Um, Again, if you're out on the cut. If you're out on the cut, you know, yeah. maybe, maybe, maybe both. Yeah. Um, you know, the, the, there are boats on this marina that are alarmed and have yeah. got CCTV yeah. on them. Mm -hmm. um, so it's personal choice there. Mm -hmm. Final one, um, Mr. and Mrs. B, would you consider a safe? Well, we have a safe. Yeah, we do. That's all I'm saying about that. I don't want to preempt any, you know, but yeah, we have a safe. Yeah. Um, so, Dirk, I hope that helps. It's yeah. just our opinion. Yeah. Like everything else we've talked about, it is just our opinion. Yeah. We, we genuinely don't want to offend anyone. No. Um, you know, you. you you spend time sending these questions in. Yeah, thank um, you. And as I say, it is just our opinion. Yeah. Um, go live your life. Um, ignore us, as I say. But, <laughs> but thank you for sending your question. Now, I, I do worry sometimes because, you know, people buy boats and lodges for, for their own reasons yeah. and go live your life. Yeah. Um, you know, we'll ask, sorry, we'll answer a question that's asked us. Um, but it's not intended to uh, offend anyone. No, is it? no, we don't really offend isn't. anybody. Yeah, no. I re we really would. Yeah. Um, and on that point, other than the Scottish pirate, <laughs> other than um, that, we will say goodbye. Um, we'll see you next week for our weekly yes. vlog. Keep the questions coming. We've got yes. enough. We've got enough for um, two more podcasts. Um, so I think there's 26, 27 questions in there. But so keep them in. Keep yeah, them coming. keep them coming in because yeah. I like you know I like just to keep them you know yeah. banked up. Yeah. Uh, other than that, we'll say goodbye and yes. we'll see you next week. Mrs. B, say goodbye. <gasps> yes, goodbye. See you next week for the tour of the signal box. It's very, it's Mrs. worth B, watching. Say goodbye. Goodbye. Mrs. Mrs. B. Mrs. B. Goodbye, Mrs. B. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye.